Example 29, list the possible outcomes for three flips of a fair coin. All right, so using that fundamental counting rule we discussed earlier, a rule that we'll go into more detail with later, but we can break down this overall experiment into three simple events. The three simple events are going to be first flip, second flip, third flip, right? So we'll say first flip, second flip, third flip, right? All right, so for each one of these, you know, there's going to be a set of possible outcomes. For the first flip, how many outcomes are there? Well, the coin will either be heads or tails, so there are only two possible outcomes. For the second flip, likewise, two possible outcomes. And for the third flip, two possible outcomes. The total number of outcomes, therefore, is eight number of total possible outcomes. All right, now once you have that, your next step is going to be to try to list them, right? So the first flip can either turn out to be heads or tails. Now, on your second flip, if the first flip turned out to be heads, your second flip could, of course, be heads or tails, right? If your, second, if your first flip, pardon me, had been tails, your second flip could still be either heads or tails. All right, now from there, if your first flip was heads and then your second flip was heads, your third flip could be, again, heads or tails, right? If your first flip was head and your second flip was tails, your third flip could still be heads or tails. If your first flip had been tails but your second flip had been heads, your third flip could still be heads or tails. And then if your first flip had been tails and your second flip had been tails, your third flip could still be heads or tails. All right, so that's the list of possible outcomes then because you're at the third flip at that point, right? This column represents your second flip. This one represents your third flip. Now all it's to do is to list those outcomes by following the different branches that we've created in our tree here, right? So we can go heads, heads, heads. That's one possible outcome, three heads. And then we've used up that branch, right? Then heads, heads, tails, heads, heads, tails. We use up that outcome, right? Then we've used up this entire branch. Then it goes heads, tails, heads. So we use up that branch. Heads, tails, heads. Then heads, tails, tails. Heads, tails, tails. And then we've used up all of that. There's our first four possible outcomes. Then it goes tails, heads, heads, right? And we used up that one. So tails, heads, heads. Then tails, heads, tails. Tails, heads, tails. Then we go tails, tails, head, tails, tails, head, and then tails, tails, tails is our last case. Tails, tails, tails. That's your last case and you use up all the branches. Before we leave this problem, I just wanna point out a pattern that emerges. Look at this column here. It alternates every other one, right? Heads, tails, heads, tails, heads, tails, heads, tails. Look how this one alternates. It alternates by double that. Heads, heads, tails, tails, heads, heads, tails, tails. And then this column, alternates by double that one. Heads, 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 tails, 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 tails. The reason why it's doubling each time in the alternation is because of this two possible outcomes for each trial. Had it been three for each trial, it would triple in its alternation pattern. But either way, um, basically these are, you know, the reason why it's alternating the way it is, it's alternating by powers of two. This would be like two to the zero or every other one it alternates. Two to the one power means it alternates every two. And then two to the second power means it alternates every four. If there was another column, it would be two to the third power, alternates every eight, so on and so forth.